okay we are going to show how to run the library uh, pdf to jpg uh, the library is used to convert a pdf into jpg so here is our sample pdf like this one it contains two pages and we are going to convert this pdf into jpg uh, so now uh, one thing i need to make sure is B, uh, the library only supports Python 3 as of now. Uh, since the support for Python 2 has ended from most of the libraries, so we are automatically removing this support. So now uh, let's dive into the terminal. So the location for the library is this. So this file we are going to convert. So what we are going to do is we are going to do, copy the program. So let's just copy the exact content from here to here. Okay. And this is the file. Uh, let's just say we want to create an output directory by the name of output. Uh, and we need to convert all the pages. So just put it all here. Now uh, make sure that uh, this directory should exist. Okay, it should not like you are just creating complete path out of fly. So the page directory should exist. So now before running the program, I want to uh, tell you that uh, like to install the library you just need to follow this command since i have already installed the library so probably it's going to say that it's already installed okay another dependency which is really crucial is the installation of java so we don't need jdk but you do need jre because the underlying you know the, uh, the pdf jpj is using java as a backend so now uh, as you can see java is already there but uh, to install the Java, uh, what I did was let me just quickly uh, show that. Like, this is a command in Ubuntu at least which will install uh, the JRE and that will make sure that Java is up and running in your system. So, that's all. Uh, now, this library is ready to go. So, what we are going to do is we are going to do Python 3 and then we're just going to call the program. So, Let's say the program run. As you can see, that we are getting output path and all the samples uh, which we want. Now, just going here, we can see we have our output directory, and we have all the sample files that we need. So now, one thing we note that this does not contain uh, sample zero, which is odd. Let me just see what happened. Uh, there it is. There's some, so, must be some glitch. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, I guess.